This is the future. Morning guys, so I got the socket that I needed to get in there to loosen that bolt over there and also to loosen the two bolts that's over there so it will work for those ones as well obviously once those are loose I just need to release the tension on the chain and then I can remove both cams and loosen the head bolts we already loosened the turbo there so that should be all that we need to do to take this top off and then hopefully tomorrow we can take this to an engineering shop and see what they tell me about scheming it and so on and then hopefully by end of the week we can start putting everything back together I honestly hope it's going to be that easy <laughs> I had to buy this entire set just so that I can use these two at a ridiculous price I couldn't get them separate how's it guys the first cam is out now I'm just left with these head bolts to remove and uh, let's see if we can do something about that chain so that we can uh, remove the second cam don't ask questions about that okay no questions We'll get to that. Okay guys, the first head bolts are out and the cam is out. So this side is loose. Now we have to get to our I need to get the chain loose, then get that cam off and those head bolts there. But now our other problem is this little motherfucker of a year has stripped. So I guess it's going to be a hammer and chisel time again. Okay guys, so let us just give you a little bit of an update. There were those two torque screws that when you take them out, it releases the tensioner that holds the chain in place. So once I removed them, I was able to release the gear with the chain on. I released the gear with the chain on and I removed the cams. Now nothing was turned, the engine wasn't turned or anything but I probably stripped the whole engine at the front eventually to get the timing set from scratch. All the head bolts has been removed and then this stupid plate at the front that was there for if you want to lift the engine it um, also stripped so I had to take a grinder and I cut off the plate so I was able to remove all bolts that was in my way. The good news is the head is loose, the bad news is it is still stuck on a dowel. Hi guys, so I really would like to apologize for this video taking so long. I honestly didn't think it's going to take two or three months, I was hoping to be finished with this video already, but due to work and circumstances it's just been impossible, there's, there's no way. I'm going as fast as I can. So, like I said previously, the, the block is loose. I can move it like this, but I cannot lift it. Uh, the head, sorry, I keep on talking about the fucking block. The head is loose. I just can't lift it. And I've got no means of lifting it. There's no mechanical way. So I have to wait for someone to come and assist me. Hopefully, it will be this Sunday. So. If everything goes well, I will get someone to come and help me this Sunday just so that we have two people that can actually lift the, the head off. Because of the height of the car, I don't have any leverage. I've got no way to lift it and there is absolutely no way, there's no place to wedge it. So unfortunately, I have to wait for someone to help me. But I promise as soon as that head is off, it will start going faster. Then I can start the cleaning process and getting everything done and renewed and everything. I also found a name of someone living in my town, close by, that can actually come and assist me with that engine. 
Since I'm not an expert on BMW engines and this guy apparently has been working on BMs for a long 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 time, he's willing to come and help me, especially when we have to redo the timing from scratch. So um, the good news is we will we'll get this engine up and running. When? I don't know. I honestly can't say. Thanks for the patience that you guys are showing. And that's probably not what you guys have wanted. You wanted it quickly. But um, unfortunately, it's going to take some time. As soon as the head is off, we will start getting the ball on the roll. Hopefully, by next week, I can give you something better to look at. And uh, yeah, I think in the meantime, I, just, I should start my building process. Guys, now I'm busy with the upgrading of the yard and so, starting with the palisades and this um, paving I did outside. I am starting with that, or I, I did that, it's done. I still need to build a tool shed, so maybe I should get my ass in gear and start getting the wood that I need to start building that tool shed. Since I, um, I obviously am not going much quicker with the engine, I might as well start this project as well. And as you guys know, this baby will be finished on the 4th of September. Then I'll give you the complete time lapse from stencil to, well, this one is healed now, stencil to the completed product, which I hope will be awesome. So until then, thanks for watching again. And uh, yeah, keep the bright side up. Cheers. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all, there is now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cripzone.co.za where you can go straight to my podcasts if you want to by clicking on the podcast icon you'll be taken straight to the anchor podcast page where I do my podcast and remember when you go to my youtube page there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel um, and remember if you have any comments please feel free to drop me an email and on my youtube front page there is now a paypal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me. Thanks for watching and until next time, cheers.